What's up streamers, in this video we will learn to stream on Twitch using Twitch Studio. The video is a step by step tutorial, so let's get started. To the left, you have your scenes. You can click on each to change the main video. What's visible here will be streaming. On the top, you have some information including your session time, viewers, CPU usage and more. To the right, you'll find the chat. I don't have any followers, so I can't see anything here. Down the bottom there's a game, but in your case there will be nothing here because this is the first time you are streaming. There are two buttons, one with a sub menu. Of course you can start streaming with this button, or you can record your gameplay to upload it later by going to this arrow and clicking on record. This will record what's on the main scene. I won't take too much of your time and quickly show you how to add a game. Twitch Studio is smart, because if you start playing a game, the program will detect it and show it here. If not, you can click on this option and choose the specific window to display. You can also choose the whole monitor if you like. Let's play a game and see it in action. As you can see that the tool has discovered the game, we'll click on the stream button to start streaming. You see those icons next to the bars? Those icons are to enable and disable the mic, game sound and webcam. Down below, you have to fill in the information. You can tap on this pencil sign to edit the game title and description while the notification settings are below. Let's click on go live and here we are. We are now live streaming this game. When you are live, you can go to your channel to see it. I do that because it changes the view account from 0 to 1. Anyway, the web page shows some helpful information about this stream. I don't have any followers, but if you have, you can chat with them here on this page or in the software. Let's end this stream. To end, click on this end stream button and again on this button to end it. When the stream is finished, you see this offline message on the web page. Please keep in mind that Twitch does not automatically save streams. You can enable this option in the stream settings to save your past broadcasts. Before we end this video, let's discover the settings menu. Here you can change your theme, stream quality, resolution, frame rate and more. You can also enable the in-game overlay if you like. The file location for recorded files and file format is here too. Some other options include changing your mic, hotkeys and scene transitions. So this is it for this video. I hope it helped you to start streaming on Twitch. Let me know what you think and thumbs up if it helped. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, never stop chasing your dreams.